All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to do an update on the uh, Club Car DS. Got the batteries taken out of this thing. Um, got the motor unbolted. Trying to diagnose a clunky motor. Wasn't sure exactly what it was. I'll try to pipe in a clip of what this thing was doing. And you can kind of see, I'll do that at the end. But um, this has kind of been my decision on, if you listen, I don't know if you can hear that, but the, I think the windings of the motor are just shot on this thing. So it's gonna get a, it's gonna get a swap. Navitas 600 amp uh, with a five kilowatt motor. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for this build. Um, but this is it in, a, in its raw form. I got the batteries put away here in the shed. So that will not be a problem while I'm storing, I was not being able to uh, work on stuff. Let me show you underneath this thing. So here is the bare bone framework of a club car DS. And you can see it's pretty, uh, pretty stripped. But the nice thing about these club cars is that they're all aluminum. So that makes them lightweight and no decay, which is nice. Now, they do get, I've noticed here, they do get their fair share of pitting and um, like oxidization from the battery acid that's dripped on them over the years. But really, things are pretty much indestructible. Frame on this one's pretty good. No one's done any uh, repairs on it that I can see. You can see a lot of the inner workings underneath here of what makes this thing chooch. This is the gas pedal here. I'm sorry, uh, gas pedal. Yeah, here, brake, armature down here, which operates these two cables. There's no front brakes on a, on a club car. Most cars really don't have them except for the new ones pulls this spring, I'll replace all this crap, and uh, goes in here to the brake drums down there. If I do the Navita swap on it, the old uh, resistor style coil, all that stuff comes out of it. Uh, transaxle seems pretty solid, which was my big concern on this thing. I didn't want to have to replace the transaxle. Uh, someone's put in some Australian springs on this thing at one point they're real weak. Single leafs, which the thing had a rear seat kit on it and single leafs on a rear seat kit cart. Uh, not a good combo at all, but this is what we're working with. I have a whole box of brand new steering parts uh, that are going on this thing. Um, yeah, just a lot of good stuff. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a, a peek at the, uh, at the frame of what we're dealing with here. So this is it. I'm going to turn this thing into a nice runner when it's all done. Um, new parts up front. I'll show you some of the parts I got for it. Again here. Here's the uh, goodies. Got a rack and pinion. These are all courtesy of uh, Amazon. So my uh, bought all these parts of my hard earned money here. I do have some partnerships I'm forming up right now. So I will be mentioning those companies once we have some agreements in place on different parts I wanna do on this cart. And then obviously keep a running tally of what this guy would cost you guys if you're going to do this build. So uh, ball joints are going on this thing. I have new steering rack and pinion. This company, uh, I call it LOL. That's what it looks like. Uh, 10L, 10L, whatever. They seem to have the lion's share of the uh, Amazon parts market. Uh, this is a new steering knuckle because the one on mine is all worn out. This connects the steering shaft to the rack and pinion. Uh, nice new set of shocks, although I'm not sure if I'll be able to use those or not. I think I showed you ball joints there. Cart's getting a speedometer, GPS speedometer, which will be nice. So that'll go in the dash, which will be a nice little addition with a little hours meter on there and track some mileage. Um, if I do the Navita swap, it's going to have a forward reverse switch on the front and I'm also going to install a battery gauge which is cool. I got my running parts box here of things that have come off the cart, various cables and whatnot. So yeah, just all in all going to be a fun build. I think it's uh I think it's going to be worth it. I don't think it's going to have to sit too long. I got a pretty good um 
pretty good idea of my build schedule on this cart. So now it's just a matter of forging the relationships with some of these parts dealers and getting the parts that I need for it and figuring out uh, the stages of the restoration. I do have the body right here. This is going to get painted at my local paint shop. Um, I think I worked out a deal with them, 550 bucks to do a uh, metallic paint job on it. My daughter wants orange, um, I want black, so we'll see who wins that argument, but maybe I can convince her to go black paint job on that thing, but yep, this is it guys. So I just wanted to give you an update, show you the underneath of a club car DS, kind of give you the anatomy of it. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions on the build or want to see something on the build, let me know and I will answer them. Thanks guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. All right, you guys in the golf cart community, I want to show you this. Tell me what you think this is before I get too far into this build. Here we have our motor here. I'm just gonna, basically I just kind of light foot this thing. I'm just gonna surge it a little bit. I'm doing this with the pedal every time it moves, but look at how much, hear that noise and all that shake. So gas on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. So it makes that click every time you engage it. Now let me show you when I get off of it. You can kind of see what I'm working with here. Look at this rig. Um, here's the, hear it? What do you guys think that is? Transaxle or motor? Or spline? I'd love to know what you guys think. If you guys run into this before, I can feel it. When I do that, I can feel it in my hand. So I obviously know it's here. It's not in the mount or anything in the axle, but uh, any insight is appreciated. This is a 2001 DS. It's a 48 volt battery rig, but it's only a 36 volt motor. 36 volt serial number so whoever had it before me put the wrong batteries in it from what i can tell i didn't know you could screw around with the battery voltage on these but i'm uh, i'm a little green on this so let me know what you guys think that is in this club car ds